This video will show you how you can create an augmented reality experience using Unite AR. First up, I'm going to head over to UniteAR.com slash login and sign in using the registered email ID. I'm going to click on sign in. And I'm going to click on add new project. Here, I'm going to select image based AR. And over here, I have to upload a target image. So I'm going to create one right now. Here you can see a PDF. I'm going to open it up and scroll down okay and i'm going to select this article over here so i'm going to head over to my finder and type in screenshot okay and select screenshot and crop just the section that i want all right and now at the bottom okay and i'm going to click on capture and if I click on it, it's going to ask me to save and I'll close this one and you can see the screenshot over here. All right, now I'm gonna head over back to my browser and click on browse. Okay, I'm gonna select the screenshot over here and click on open. And once it's done uploading, the next button should light up. Yep, and I'm gonna click on next and it's going to take us to the content page here you can upload the content zoom in and click on 3d and select browse i have a model saved up earlier in fbx format i'm going to select that and hit open when it's done loading you can see a preview like this you can change the orientation so you can see how high it's from the target image i'm just going to rotate it so that when it appears, it's going to be facing the user. And I'm gonna lower it up a little bit. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna hit save and publish. It should show me the preview of a target image if I hit preview. Okay, now I'm gonna head over to my mobile device and open up the United Air application. I have the page printed out. I'm going to scan it and the content should appear. Okay. Now this is a completely interactable content. You can actually pinch and scale it up and also rotate. Yeah. And that's how easy it is to create an augmented reality experience with United Air. Thank you for watching.